Japanese takeaways hold a special place in Kiwi food culture. In the 70s and 80s, often the first takeaway or neighbourhood takeaway shop was a Chinese takeaway, aside from the fish and chip shop. So this takeaway food, the wontons, the sweet and sour pork, the fried rice, was often the first taste of Chinese cuisine for many Kiwis. I'm a Chinese takeaway kid, so I grew up in my parents' Chinese takeaway. So when I learned that Joanna Sito, a first generation Chinese Kiwi woman like me, had taken over her parents' business, Flying Horse Takapuna, as a second generation owner, I just knew we had to film a video with her. We can't wait to share this local institution with you. Um, so the history of Flying Horse Take Perna opened in 1977 um, from, and my dad's good friend Uncle Wayne opened, Wayne Chung opened Flying Horse back then. I think um, in those days it was the only shop that was open late on a Thursday night and Friday night um, and I think that was revolutionary at the time. Yeah, he had it for 30 years and then my dad and, well my mum and dad took over in about 15 years ago. So I grew up here during that period um, and then I took over from my dad uh, back in two years ago, so early 2020. Check out this menu. So this is old school classic Chinese takeaway fare. You'll find similar menus all across New Zealand in Chinese takeaways. This menu is so similar to the one that my parents had in our takeaway. So you've got things like chow mein, the noodle dishes, fried rice, the sweet and sours. You also always have a section of deep fried foods. So foods that you would find in a fish and chip shop, fish, chips, hot dogs, burgers. But this food is special. This takeaway has been a part of the Takapuna community since 1977. The locals love it and it is so cool that Joanna Sito has taken over it as a second generation owner. My parents owned their first takeaway in 1991 so basically yeah I've been in a takeaway for over 30 years now. <laughs> Horse Takapuna is the epitome of a successful family business. So we've got Dad on the tools, Joanna's at the back there doing prep. What's neat is that Joanna is all about legacy and preserving that legacy. So she hasn't changed much of the menu um, when she took over. So all of the recipes, the fried rice that Joe's cooking right now, all the same. It's kind of unusual a second generation Kiwi Chinese taking over their parents' business. Yeah, isn't it? I agree. I haven't met one, another person just yet. <laughs> How does it, like what's it been like? Um, it's actually been really fun. I feel like it gives me an advantage as well. Being a younger generation, I can kind of bring um, a very traditional business into the 21st century. Mm -hmm. And I get to implement little things that looks really normal to another business but really fresh, refreshing for a takeaway business mm. and it kind of gives us a competitive advantage as well like doing that. You mean like so using social media? Social media, um, having a website, a click and collect website, especially during, during level three it was very useful for our customers. Oh,他都是跟我做過 你教他怎樣煮熟,他教他怎樣營業 <笑><笑> 
What made you decide to do that? Uh, I was thinking about this a lot actually. Um, aside from my love of food, I think it's also that gratitude to, um, about towards the industry. Um, that it's actually allowed so many new immigrants be able to earn a living with dignity and be able to put their kids through education um, just all around the world, not just in New Zealand, um, as you would know. And yeah, I think it's just that gratitude and wanting to make sure everyone who comes through our doors, you know, the, our food is worth their money, their time and their efforts. So with that gratitude comes that, that drive and that passion is just to not only provide good food but a good experience because I think in the center of any family gathering it's the food so I want to make sure that anyone who chooses us we provide that positive experience among their important food ga uh, family gathering kind of thing. I've spied wontons in the making. So when I was working in school holidays at my parents' takeaway, this was my job. I'd always be in charge of making wonton. And you are a sea fool. Like, you're so good at it. You're <laughs> so quick. Well, it's been two and a half years of doing this um, nearly every day, so <laughs> kind of have to. So what's in the pork mince? Um, so what makes our pork mixture slightly different is that we mince our own pork um, and so and then we do we put the pork through another mixture and my dad puts it uh, includes spring onions and cabbage and hollow seasoning and what's the main difference is that when you bite into our wontons it's not like that loose type of pork feeling yeah it's um, like chunky yeah chunky and uh, how do you say tanga like um, Texture? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. very that. Yeah, <laughs> super textural. We've eaten these before and they uh, knock your socks off. You can't stop at one. Yeah. No, like, I think it's just a lot of it is just making sure that I'm, you know, making sure Dad's recipes are not forgotten in the world as well, so. And also, like, being across the whole business, eh? It's not just you coming in as the new owner and not knowing how to cook. Yes, definitely. Um, I think it definitely helps um, as an owner that you know how to cook. Yeah. What are you making? So right now I'm doing the roast pork beyond, just to show you that I have graduated from law school. <laughs> um, so for young is yeah. an omelet. Yes, so the <laughs> classic. Yeah, Chinese, Chinese style. takeaway fare. Exactly. Um, what's slightly different with our for young is that we use 100% egg. We don't put um, corn flour or like water or anything into it. So brilliant. Yeah. So a lot of our customers like it because of that. I think it's what's special about this place. You don't skimp on ingredients and you don't you do things right. Yeah, I think it's also because we started from the 70s, right? And that kind of um, mentality is just using everything fresh. And yeah, that's always what we've carried on from the 70s. So why I say we um, graduate from rock school because of the Fion, it's because of the flip. Wow. And flip is the harder, is the harder part of um, cooking on a wok because you need to control it quite well in order to do so. Yes, yeah, so it's about done. Oh, it looks amazing. Look at this spread. I love what Joanne is doing here. She hasn't changed much of her dad's menu at all. And the menu in itself is interesting because this isn't food that I would eat at home or really Joanna would eat at home. This Chinese cuisine is almost a new beast in and of itself. It's Kiwi Chinese. So you've got the fried rice, the, the fried noodles, wonton, Sweden sour pork, the fuyong. These are all dishes which come under the umbrella of Kiwi Chinese food. Um, and what she's doing here is wicked. She's carrying on that legacy, that history, the use of the fresh ingredients is great. The, the different ways of doing things like with the sweet and sour pork, which I've got to get into. So Joanna was saying that they, they do it a bit different here because they use house-made barbecue pork. 
uh, in a wet batter. So I've just chucked a lot of that sweet and sour sauce over. Actually, I'm going to give it another dunk. Mmm. <laughs> Far out. I get it now. I get why that's such a hit. The barbecue pork has a great flavour. It's super tender and then you've got that crispy batter. Oh, yum. These one ton are fresh as. These are the ones that Joanna was making before. An absolute must order for any Chinese takeaway feast. Mmm. Far out, that is so juicy, full of flavour. You can taste the love and the care in that one ton. So Joanna's thought about the way that it's folded, the way that the pork is minced. She cares so much about this food, you can taste it. I've got to try this fried rice. So this is the special fried rice. It's got barbecue pork, it's got cashews, it's got, um, I think I might even have some chicken in there. This is the one that jo, Joanna's dad was making. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So much wok hay in that mouthful. Wok hay translates to breath of the wok, so the, the essence of the wok. You can taste that charred smokiness in that rice. I can see why this food evokes such strong emotions in the locals. I've talked to a number of people who've said, I drive all the way over from the other side of town to come and get my fix at Frying Horse Takapuna. You know, I love their food. We've been going for literally generations. So Joanna was saying, you know, grandparents, parents, now their children are still coming and eating the same food. And I love that legacy, that history. It's been so cool chatting to Joanna and seeing the similarities in our upbringings, both our parents having takeaway shops. This is classic Kiwi Chinese fare. You have got to come here and eat the food. I love the, the history, the preservation of legacy, and the food is fantastic. Get here, come to Takapuna, eat this food.